Natasha. Debbie. Show. The show. <laughs> Welcome to it. <laughs> Just two patriotic girls. Learning about the world. So please, don't take us the wrong way. Welcome to the show, everybody. We are super excited for today's episode, and I hope you have some energy. Because we are pumped up. Yes, we are. <laughs> no caffeine. This is straight Zero. normal mm -hmm. energy, because we're excited about today's episode. We know it is TT racing time on the Isle of Man. Yes, it and is. And we're pumped for this video. Um, might say we're a little excited. Just adrenaline's <laughs> rushing. <laughs> it is. Last year, we took a couple looks at some of the TT racing. Yeah, it was our first time ever seeing it. So if you wanna go back and check, check check those out, we did two videos. We did one on the history and learning about the race itself. Riders flying by at speeds averaging well over 100 miles per hour. This standalone annual event puts the combination. Mm -hmm. And then everybody's like, now you gotta go and check out some of the actual footage of the race, which is exactly what we did. Oh! Um... And that was awesome. And then after that, everyone's like, you know what? You need to check out the sidecar racing. And we said, no. Not yet. No, we're not gonna do all of that now. We're hoping we'll still have mm -hmm. a YouTube channel in 2023. It's 2023. It and is. It is now. And today's the day to look at the sidecar. The insane world of sidecar racing. Now we have done everything we can and successfully did do this. Mm -hmm. And that's to not see anything on the sidecar racing. Exactly. So we haven't seen anything. Nothing. Mm. I have no idea what to expect. I don't quite understand the whole sidecar thing, but today I'm gonna learn what this is about. Yep. I've been in a sidecar. Um, you have? Yeah, with Roy. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. And it was, eh. but I'm guessing it's a lot slower than what this is. <laughs> Probably. So we don't know what to expect here. Um, we know this video has been done before by a couple other people, but we haven't seen it. And uh, we were hoping to find something different, but we just didn't find anything else. So. We're gonna find out why this sidecar racing is so crazy and mm. cool and insane. So without any further ado, let's see what's going on in the sidecar at the Isle of Man TT. It's sidecar racing and it's absolutely crazy. They are three wheeled bikes that can hit one. What? What? Hold on, stop. Pause. You already paused. I'm still talking. Yeah, what? What what the heck just happened? <laughs> Did I just say that? <laughs> what? Hold on. Uh, and it's absolutely crazy. What is they he doing? Three why is he leaning bikes? like that? Oh, okay. No. His butt is hanging off. Why was he leaning like this? I don't understand what's happening. Why isn't he sitting this there? This is sidecar racing and it's absolutely crazy. They are three wheeled bikes that can hit 160 miles an hour on the residential streets of the Isle of Man. But what's incredible is that it takes two, two people, people to, to drive, drive this thing. thing. One right. on the controls Why is he and one leaning? manipulating the balance of the bike. Oh. And controlling this thing Wait. at that sort of speed with walls. Sorry, curves. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Totally different type of sidecar. <laughs> I didn't know that kind of sidecar Definitely. existed. So they're controlling it too. The guy in the back's controlling it and driving it too. Oh. Yeah, helping to balance it. Oh. I literally thought he was just sitting there. I did too. Gonna be sitting there, but clearly not the case. <laughs> it's kind of an interactive sidecar. Y'all are nuts. Okay? <laughs> you insane. In a way that's awesome. Yeah, wow. Okay, sorry, but this is not what we expected. And we're only 22 uh -uh. seconds into this. Okay, hold on. Look at that. This is crazy. Bike and controlling this thing at that sort of speed with walls, curbs, and blind crests must be terrifying. But not as much yeah. as being the passenger whilst doing that. Nope. So today, let me explain the engineering and the insane driving skill behind sidecar racing. Oh my lord, that was fast. Wow. This Son is a Formula 2 sidecar, around 130 horsepower, what? 350 kilograms, Look including at this. the riders, and a top speed of well over 160 miles per hour. No. They run standard 600cc. No four-stroke bike engines and racing slicks. The speed they travel at is honestly astonishing. Okay. Yeah, astonishing. 130 so, miles an hour. We're recording this prior, oh gosh, like a week before this, not even a week, a few days before this video comes mm -hmm. out for you guys. And I pray to God there hasn't been any fatalities because as of right now, there have not been. Yeah. And I know last year there were, and I know in some sidecar races. Mm -hmm. I can see why now. And this is yeah. really unsafe. <laughs> 
Um, not what I thought this absolutely was. Absolutely not. We're thinking the same, right? You, did you picture what I was picturing? I'm assuming. Yeah, I just like figured sitting in a cycle. Somebody just kind of sitting there hanging out, enjoying the ride, <laughs> we not were... having to like jump on the side of the bike to keep it from falling over, yeah. or leaning into the curb. Yeah. Wow. Mind blown. Moving back. Sorry, got it. Just thing flicks. The speed they travel at is honestly astonishing. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Now, sidecar racing is huge with many different classes and events, from circuits like Brands Hatch and Alton Park to the scariest of them all, the Isle of Man Snaefell Mountain Course. The Isle of Man, statistically oh. the most dangerous races in the world, I would and say. by quite some margin. The number of horrific crashes is endless, but despite this, <gasps> hundreds of races Sorry. across bikes, superbikes, and sidecars rock up every year. To take it on. And whilst I do moan <laughs> about organizers making tracks too sterile at the moment with massive runoffs, the risks at the TT are far higher than I personally would take. Yeah. One misjudgment or one mechanical mm. failure could send you off a hill or into mm. a brick wall. The track weaves through tight island roads for 38 miles with tight sections and more open weaving sections oh, come on, where man. riders are flat out for minutes at a time. These sidecars manage an average of 120 <sighs> miles per hour around these 200 turns. Around and the to turns. put this into perspective, the top class of superbikes, which are far, far lighter, manage this with a 130 miles per hour average. The TT is a time trial event that is held over a fortnight. One week of practice, and you're going to need every minute of that, and a week of races. They set the riders off uh -uh. 10 seconds apart. So whilst you are racing the clock, if you're quick, you have to put in some ballsy overtakes too. Oh, if you want on, to man. see loads of quality footage, oh, on, uh, check out the free okay. wheeling channel. I'm good, you're good. Below. I'm good. And thank you to them for supplying a lot of the footage <coughs> in this video. And this track would be terrifying in a car, with four wheels and a roll cage, one driver and the ability to take left and right handed corners at the same sort of speed. I can't breathe. I just feel like I'm not breathing. <laughs> I'm not breathing. I I'm just holding noticed my breath. in that last frame. I don't, I'm afraid to rewind. <laughs> Look at that. We both drive Subarus. It's a cliche in America. It, it holds the record. <laughs> not that kind of Subaru. You well, want that one though. I know, I've been wanting that car. But this race is insane. I mean, the sidecar? The sidecar yeah. stuff is I would rather be insane. on the two-wheel bike than I would be on the sidecar. I feel like that's much more dangerous in some regards. In some regards. Uh, yeah, I think they're breathe. both dangerous, obviously. So let's get in and learn some more. Uh -huh. And the ability to take left and right-handed corners at the same sort of speed. But sidecars have none of these things. Right. But before we get into it, some lingo. The sidecar itself is called an outfit. The person on the right is called the driver, and the madman who's hanging off the side is the called a passenger. Anyway, from an engineering perspective, what makes these sidecars unusual is that they aren't symmetrical. They have two wheels in line and then one on the side. So when I'm driving on track, whether it's in Catrums or Formula One cars, you get a feel for the car's cornering ability, right. and then apply this to both left-handers and right-handers. However, these sidecars actually take right-handers far quicker than left-handers. And this is down to, in right-handers, the outfit leaning on that sidecar. Like wheel. I thought that fell off earlier left than that. Left-handers, the whole thing wants to tip over. Oh, Years ago, oh. these outfits used to look more back. Look at that. Right-handers, the outfit leaning on that sidecar wheel, where in left-handers, the whole thing wants to tip over. Years Jeez. ago, these outfits used to look more like a bike and sidecar. However, now what? they are bespoke racing units with uh. advanced aero and much improved performance. Ow. They are powered by a single rear wheel, the one behind the driver, and are steered by the front wheel through some very small handlebars. They can okay. also outbrake superbikes down to the huge slick tires and the enormous car brakes that stop all three wheels. And look here, they use flat racing tires rather than the rounded bike tires, so they have a much larger contact patch, okay. so more grip in the corners and especially on the brakes. Now to the question I'm sure you're Good all deal. wondering. What about the dude on the back? Yes. Well, they are called passengers or more casually, 
monkeys. And that kind of makes sense. These guys have to be incredibly fit oh. just to hold on oh, at God. these speeds and g-forces. Their role is to maintain the balance of the outfit. Without them, the side car just wouldn't work. It would be minutes a lap slower around the TT course. So Yikes. they cling on, staying out of the airflow on the straights and hang off either side around the corners, Ugh. essentially no, making it up to the <laughs> Sorry, uneven handling of the okay. sidecar. Around right-handers, they climb over the top of the driver to keep the weight oh, on the oh, oh, inside oh, oh, oh. tires. Okay, so, I just have to pause because you remember what we learned last year, uh, and it wasn't really quite in this shot, but it was in one of, mm -hmm. a little bit ago, that those, what looks like hedges, you know, and they probably are hedges, uh -huh. but there's those are walls, rock yeah, walls, walls behind, behind those. We yes. learned that last year, yes. and oh god, every time I see a curve or you know, a bend in the road, I'm uh -huh. like, and I see something up, I'm like, dang it, that is so freaking scary and close to danger zone. This is all is. too close to a danger zone. Uh huh. Every bit of it. And the speeds are insane. Um, Any turn is a danger. <laughs> if you don't know, we're coming to the UK next year, and um, it might be at the time this is happening. Uh uh. <laughs> right now, before anyone asks, nope, not going. I don't want to see this. Oh, come you? on. It'd be kind of cool to stand there. And I will be goodbye. someplace else, and you can go here. Okay. This is hardcore. I'm going to run that back just a little bit, because look at this. This is insane, dude. Essentially making up for the uneven handling of the sidecar. Around oh, yeah. right-handers, they what? climb over the top of the driver to keep the weight on the inside tire. He moves so fast. Then on left-handers, they hand precariously oh. over the side of the bike. And this is the bit that looks the most sketchy. They yes. very uh -huh. often yes, skid is. their backs along the surface of the track, and can even get oh, knocked off. Dang it! Stop showing that one. That's a second. That's the one they showed at the beginning. That is not okay. I hope he was all right. Yeah. We don't ever want to show crashes or anything like that on here. No. We've made sure to like test the videos with people we've uh, asked to watch for us because I don't want to see anyone get hurt or killed. God forbid. I think that's uh -huh. wrong to show that on here. But and no. I'm surely hoping that he's going to tell us that they wear something on their butt back area. I don't think they do. Butt back area. Little... Yeah, the what butt the back area. What defines a butt back area? You know the butt back area. I don't. The <laughs> area that's how you Do you know what a butt back? <laughs> Sorry, the butt back area. Some kind of a, I don't know, protection. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, look at it right Besides there. Besides just the suit. I don't see anything. I. There could be. I hope so. We're hoping. I don't know how much that's going to help. What just happened? And we have to Fingers see it again because I accidentally rewound it, and I was just wanting to see that frame. Sorry. And skid their backs along the surface of the track and Stop can luck. even get knocked off if the driver gets it wrong. Along the straights, they duck out okay, of the airflow, okay. then pop up in the braking zones to add as much drag as possible. Then, as the driver turns into the corner, they oh. have to quickly but carefully get in position so that the bike sticks. So, in a car, you trail brake into the corner, meaning you gently release the brake pressure as you enter. This is all to transfer the weight of the car. Yeah, I get it, and I couldn't possible. do this. On a sidecar, I the driver is still doing this, but with the added component of another person That's crazy. moving around too. And it must be so tough to coordinate these two things perfectly. Some passengers even count or feel the bumps. Also, they don't need to pop their head up to see when the next corner is coming, mm. which around a 38 mile lap is mighty impressive. Did As you, you can imagine. Uh, hold on, did anyone see that besides me? He was there, and then he wasn't. And then he was, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they fly by so fast. Did he say 160 miles an hour? Because that seemed way faster said. to me than that. I think he did. I mean, they, they reached <laughs> super speeds. Watch, I'm a sidecar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here, I'm gone. <sighs> you didn't even see me move. I don't think I could handle this. I think with my uh, heart rate and stuff, like I would just have a small, mm -hmm. I would have a massive anxiety attack watching this in person, which is why I don't want to go see this. How many of you have? Let us know. Okay, don't see that again. Watch this. Bumps. It's crazy. Also, they don't need to pop their head up to see when the next corner is coming, which around a 38 mile Hang lap on. is mighty <laughs> impressive. As you can imagine, it Jeez. takes enormous trust from both parties. The driver has to trust that the passenger will be in place oh, to him to the... oh. when he needs it. Then the passenger has to trust the driver oh. that he's got he's his He's just lifting him off the ground. Mm -hmm. Did you guys see that? He's lifting him off the ground. The passenger takes enormous trust Sorry. from both parties. I didn't know that. The driver has to that. trust that the passenger oh, will God. be in place to give him grip when he needs it. Then the passenger has to trust the driver. That's... He's saying, oh, it takes this and this. It takes bollocks. Big bollocks. Uh, definitely does. To do this. <laughs> <laughs> that, look at that frame. He's not even on the ground. You guys, I thought this was just a sidecar, a regular old sidecar mm -hmm. to a motorcycle. I knew it would be a fast motorcycle, right? 
and a guy just sitting in it, just hanging out for the ride, going along with them yep. at fast speeds, right? Exactly. Not like this. So yes. this is why I'm freaking out. Very I'm... active for the passenger. I mean, it's very important for that yeah, passenger pays... to be moving side to side to keep it on the ground yeah, as much as Yeah, he plays as just as an important role as a driver. I mean, because they're both drivers. Yeah, and you would think you would want somebody who's heavier, but then it's yeah. going to slow you down in your speed. Yeah, I think so. the heavier person, so we'd stay on the ground. Look at this guy. He's not on the I ground. Know. I have to run that again because that's just insane seeing him coming off the ground. What? Enormous trust from both parties. The driver has to trust that the passenger will <clears> be in <throat> place to give him grip when he needs no. it. Then the passenger has to trust the driver trust, that guy. he's got his estimation. I'm not that trusting. Right. The passengers hold on to a few specific handles. The main one mm. is in the center of the bike. Okay. The riders hold this through the highest G sections, the braking zones, where they have to be up pretty high on the bike whilst the driver is on the anchors. Then there are several smaller holes around the side guard for the cornering sections, mm. as well as a specially shaped platform with places for the passenger to jam their foot in for grip. Okay. It really is like rock climbing at 150 yeah. miles per hour. Damn. Now what I find mad is also what the driver has to do. It's not like a car where the grip is more predictable and the balance of the car is pretty steady. The most a car changes is when the tires wear or the fuel burns off, hey. both of which happen slowly and predictably. But on these bikes, if the passenger isn't in the right place at exactly the right time, the bike won't have the grips you expect mm. it to. There really are two people steering these exactly. side cars. Okay. And the thing I can't get over is the enormous risk that every driver takes on this Agreed. Track. Many of the riders have rituals where they hug their families every time they get on the bike at this track, mm -hmm. even in practice. I just want to say right now, really quickly, for those that have lost their life in this, and those, I hate saying this, but that will, they will. Yes. Ah. Uh, we have deepest respect and sympathies to their families. Yes. We don't take this lightly. We know this is a very, very deadly race. Um, it sure is. And uh, yeah, not that made me emotional when he said that. Yeah. God bless him. Families every time they get on the bike at this track, even in practice. There are too mm. many crashes, many oh, no. of which are tragic. No. So you can imagine the nerves when sat at that start line. But as we mm. all know, all motorsport sport that. can be dangerous. No one told me it was go this into video. It knowing the risks. The skill, composure, and dedication from these riders demands huge respect. One thing I had yeah. to find out was Ooh. how do you build up to doing this? How yeah. do you first learn the ropes in hanging off the side of a sidecar at silly speeds? Well, just like what karting is to single seaters, what miniature sidecars is to sidecars. These are awesome. They are called mini F1 sidecars and they race on kart circuits. The racing is brilliant with some awesome- <laughs> No, I'm not doing it with you. <laughs> Where you at? It does look a little bit more dangerous than the actual one. I was thinking that too. <laughs> I was thinking, because they're so dead on small. Yeah, I mean like they're, they're there's nothing around you. Uh, it's blowing my mind. It's like a little bumper cars. But this was exactly the question that I was just thinking. How do you practice? How do you become the passenger? Okay, my question is that with lots of things, not just this, but like people that decide, you know, they can like, you know, swallow a sword, you know, or eat glass or some weird thing. It's like, how did you decide that? Be contortionist. True. How do you decide one day, hey, I can be a contortionist. Like, oh, I, I broke my leg, mom, <laughs> and it's behind my head. And now I need massive surgery and I'll never move for the rest of my life. I'm not a contortionist. <laughs> These are things I wonder. This is amazing. <laughs> this is insane. Some battles and some massive sends. You can I'm really shaking. see how the passengers <laughs> move the weight around. This is crazy. On the inside of each corner, hanging way off. I guess this the is how you practice. The outfit. You the should word? watch this video where we explain another mad class of motorsport. Thanks. My heart rate's too high. <laughs> I'm that seriously is, like, that's... it's high. <laughs> feel this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you feel it? Yes, I do. Yeah, you're not. You're really racing. That was insane. I, I like that. It was that. awesome. Though. I love learning about that. What the heck, man? This is insane. So not what we came here expecting to see. Absolutely not. So much more involved than I ever thought it would be. And I'm glad he taught us about it and how they have to jump around and help balance out the bike that the passenger is actually just as responsible yeah. and controlling the bike as the driver. I'm not gonna lie, that's about all I heard because I could not listen to him and also <laughs> look at the visuals at the same time because we did do such a successful job of not seeing this mm -hmm. for the last year. It was not easy, I'll tell you, <laughs> um, but we did. And uh, so this was the first time seeing it, like we said. And so seeing this and hearing him, 
It was tr tricky for me. Yeah. I don't. You clearly got more probably than I did. I'll have to watch our own reaction back <laughs> to listen to actually what he said. And I apologize for talking even more than normal, but I, I couldn't help it. I mean, I, I couldn't help it. This was crazy, and like I said, not what I thought we were going to be watching. So. No, not at all. What I'm so we glad we no. finally got to see it. Yeah, and I, I mean, I don't know what else we would do at this point on on the Isle of Man stuff. Um, I'm, I'm very apologetic to the fact that there was a crash in that. Um, I thought that this one was clear of those things, and I'm just going to say that he was okay, and, and don't even let me know in the comments if he wasn't, please, because mm -hmm. I just want to keep it that way. Um, but I hope you guys had fun watching this. Um, and <laughs> I'm sure you laughed at us a few times, because <laughs> really didn't expect this type of sidecar sure racing. Didn't. didn't know it existed. No. Does it exist anywhere else? Well, yeah, he mentioned a couple places. Yeah, a couple but other places. Do we have anything like that in America, like the like the sidecar stuff? I think I'm we sure, probably do. I think we do. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I've never heard of it. So, um, <laughs> And let us know if you have been to yeah. the TT racing, mm -hmm. um, especially the sidecar, if or you've been there to watch it. if anyone in your family's done it. Oh, yeah. That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> or if you know anyone that has, I'd be very interested to know that. And um, if you're watching it right now, let us know. Um, I got to go and, um, like, seriously, like, I don't know. I don't know what to do to calm down at this point, but <laughs> go smack myself in the head. You need with to something. go take a breath. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you guys for watching. And again, leave us a comment. And yes, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoy this, and I hope it was a good start to your day. Or I hope you didn't watch this before bed. Mm, that might keep you awake. <laughs> thank you so much. We'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, love like jazz. Be as strong as Tyson. Bye, guys. Bye.